Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, our lead story is Enquirer and Courier Journal bias. You can't make this up, folks. The Courier Journal and the Cincinnati Enquirer, by the way, there's all kinds of Kentucky Durrani clients, and guess what? Dr. Durrani had his own place over here in Northern Kentucky. It is a Kentucky story. The Courier Journal and the Cincinnati and Kentucky Enquirer do not cover that monumental decision from the Ohio Supreme Court. They do not cover at all the release of the Butcher of Pakistan. They don't cover the release of the Book of Set about a, cerebral, uh, a man with cerebral palsy living and working and enjoying life. They don't cover the going against medical protective. They don't cover anything relative to my campaign. But they'll cover a dismissal of a libel suit. And, and, and the hit job that they did, this is, this is hysterical, Joe Zonka, all he does is he just goes down the list and then he'll bring up everything that I've ever, anything that's ever happened. You know, he'll bring up this case, that case, that case. I mean, it's hysterical. Uh, he has a hearing Thursday related his last year carrying a loaded pistol through the discussion. Attempted pretrial diversions was unsuccessful. Well, that got cleared up today. What happened was with COVID, diversion never happened. It was inadvertent putting a gun in a carry-on bag. Pre-trial diversion said they had six cases today. It says it happens all the time. People like me, you make a mistake. You read the wrong bag, you, whatever. But look how, look how they write that. Joe Zonka, you know what? I sent him a thank you note. I said, Joe, as long as the Courier Journal keeps attacking me, I will definitely win the Republican primary. Because I like to tell all of you, if you're looking for the guy that the Courier Journal does not like the one that they write about negatively the most, it's me. Why? I'm telling you right now, they fear me against Bashir because of my track record of fighting for people isn't very good for a Democrat to go up against because they act like they're the party of the people. You catch my drift? That's why they don't want me. It's unbelievable. Long crime. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is looking for Stephen Neiman in connection to a fatal shooting. Thomas Diego Andres was shot and killed in the 6300 block of Vine Street on Friday night. Neiman is wanted for attempted aggravated murder and felonious assault. Evandale man Charlie Robertson was caught on camera attempting to set a senior living facility on fire. It's awful. Robertson lit paper on fire and threw it down a trash chute in Hayden Hall Center Apartments on Tuesday. Wow. Wow. He's facing aggravated arson charges. In local news, Fairfield Township Police may have found human remains in the Houston Woods State Park. Michael McKinney's car was found in Houston Woods when he originally went missing back in 2020. Police have not confirmed the remains are McKinney's. Claremont County officials have issued a statewide alert for missing adult Thomas Mills. Mill was last seen on Ohio Pike and Amelia on Tuesday. The man is autistic and affected by delayed mental capacity. Over 10 Cincinnati restaurants have been targeted this week by nationwide hacker attacks. Restaurants like Arnold's Bar and Grill have had their Facebook accounts hacked and frozen. The hackers take over the account, freeze out the owner, then access the owner's credit card. Ouch. Wawa's the popular East Coast convenience store chain coming to the tri-state area. The chain currently has over 100 locations and has targeted Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana for expansion. Come on in. Buddy LaRosa, the founder of LaRosa's La Pizza, has been inducted in the Ohio Restaurant Hall of Fame. What took so long? The longtime community staple was honored by the Ohio Restaurant Association on Tuesday. Buddy opened his first LaRosa's Pizzeria on the west side in 1954. I love Buddy LaRosa. He's a good guy. He's been a, a great community leader. He's got good pizza. I mean, Buddy's that boxing thing that he does, the sports things. Buddy LaRosa is a great man. Kentucky State News, e-cigarette manufacturer GUUL Labs has agreed to a settlement with the state of Kentucky. Kentucky was received more than $14 million from the company. The JUUL's practice of marketing underage Kentuckians led to the settlement. In Ohio State News, an Ohio Senate committee has rethought some requirements in the addressing of transgender athletes. The language in the bill will no longer include an invasive genital 
exam for a physician statement. The new language requires a birth certificate. The athlete's gender is questioned for girls' sports. And in sports, Joe Burrow, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.